Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And today's video is a little different than something I've done on my channel before. This is a what's in my kind of travel bag video, I guess you could call it. I'm going away for a long weekend and I overpacked as usual, but this video is going to focus on like my toiletries and makeup and stuff. The only toiletries I currently do not have packed are my deodorant and like contact stuff because that's going to be a day of kind of thing, but everything else right now is packed. So if you want to see kind of what I packed and my methodology behind it and such, then keep on watching. Let's go. Okay, so this little container here, I've featured on my channel a few times. This is from Amazon. I I have it linked in my storefront down below. I more or less packed it to make everything fit really well versus categorizing it because everything is in here like pretty well, I would say. So I can kind of go through how I organized it and this actually comes with a lot of these little foam things and I, and you can customize the shape. So I actually think I removed three of them and wound up just having like four little compartments here. So we can kind of start with the biggest compartment and work our way down and then I'll go over what's in the top portion. Okay, so I packed two palettes, one face palette, one eyeshadow palette. So for face palette, I packed my Smashbox Cali Contour palette because honestly, I love this palette. It's literally my favorite face palette I own. And so this, is the only bronzer and blush I have total. I did actually pack a face powder, but this can be a backup. And I did pack a highlighter, so that'll be a backup. But for the most part, like this is going to be my go-to every day I'm gone. For eyeshadow, I kind of decided to pack two smaller palettes and then a bunch of singles to give me options, kind of customized looks. So I decided to go with the Aha uh -huh Honey palette because it's, it's July, it's summertime, and this is just like a fun palette and I went with I went with a also the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. So between these two palettes, I have all the mattes that I will ever need for this time of year, hopefully <laughs> at least. And then I'll show you some of the minis I packed. So I did decide to go with the mini Natasha Denona that came in our lore box in the shade bronzed. I packed two ColourPop Super Shocks. We have Lightning Bug and Koosh. I packed the Tarte Chrome Paint in the shade Park Avenue Princess. Then I also packed a Stila Glitter and Glow in the shade Kitten Karma. And then the last eyeshadow I packed is the CoverGirl True Naked Queenship in the shade 905. So just a couple smaller options. I did pack my Urban Decay Primer Potion, the little tiny one I have. It's funny because like this just like isn't like organized very well. So it's just it just organized like see what would fit. So uh, I have my Benefit Roller Lash in here for mascara and it's like the mini size. Uh, one of the primers I brought is the Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Primer because it's super tiny and this will be kind of more of my smoothing primer that I packed. For eyeliner, I packed the Urban Decay 24-7 in Perversion because I have a mini of it. For brows, I packed the Clear Brow Gel from ABH and the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. The concealer I packed is the Pacifica Liquid Coverage Concealer. My setting spray is this mini of the Cover FX High Performance Setting Spray. And then one of the foundations I picked is the Neutrogena Healthy Glow Anti-Aging Perfector, which is more like a tinted moisturizer. And the reason I did that was because we're gonna be doing some outdoor things, we're gonna be going out at night, so like, kinda need some options. So that was what's in the big square. Now let's work on this smaller one here. Okay, so the loose powder I decided to bring is the Beauty Bakery Flower Powder. And I have three little compacts here. The first is the other highlighter I decided to bring. It's the Collab Glow for the Gold highlighter. I've been loving this highlighter. So I brought that one. I brought the RMS Beauty Luminizer Quad in case I just wanna throw on just a little cream highlight really quick. And then I did bring the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder because this is really good for mattifying if things start to get melty in the heat. Then I brought two other foundations because that one is a tinted moisturizer. So I decided to bring a glowy one and more of a natural finish one because I don't really know what we're doing, but these are two of my tanner ones. So I have the L'Oreal Invaluable Pro Glow and the Benefit Hello Happy. And then I brought one other primer 
which is my glowy primer, which I've also learned you can use as a body luminizer, and that's the Becca Backlight Filter. This is one of my smaller ones from my backup drawer that I have. And then the last thing in this little section is this. So this is a sponge holder, and inside I do have a Real Techniques sponge, and this is actually the Sephora Collections brand sponge holder. It's one of the most affordable ones I've seen, but I do know since I've bought this one, I think other more drugstore brands have come out with these as well. So that is like all of my face and eye makeup. This section here are the lip products I'm bringing. So yeah. Did I go overboard? Of course. All right, I grabbed two lip balms. Well, one's a lip scrub, one's a lip balm. I did grab the Lipstick Queen lip scrub and the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Clear Lip Balm. Some of these might just wind up in my purse, honestly. I brought three liquid lipsticks, three options. So I have the Lawless Liquid Lipstick in the shade George. I have the Ofra Liquid Lipstick in the shade Pasadena. And then I have the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in the shade Seduction. So they're all just like different shades of nudes and pinks. I went with two lip glosses, so a clear and a opaque one. So I have the ColourPop So Juicy in Diamond Cut and the Anastasia Beverly Hills in Toffee. I did one lip liner, the Wet n Wild Gel Liner in Bear to Comment, and one lipstick. This is the CoverGirl Demi Matte in Streaker, which is just this, in case I want to combine any of these together. Those are lip products. <laughs> Continuing on. This little corner pouch here doesn't actually have makeup. So I'm going to be painting my nails. Oh gosh. So I'm going to be painting my nails. So I'm bringing these in case I need touch-ups. It's my top coat, which I can never find to link the Sally Hansen Big Quick Dry Top Coat and the NCLA Call My Agent Nail Polish. I have a little set of nail clippers in that section. And then I also have just a washcloth because I always use a washcloth when I do my makeup to like wipe my hands and stuff. So this way I don't ruin my friends' washcloths at her house. But yeah, so that is what's in this section. I know it's a lot, but I'm not, I never claim to be a light packer. Now the top section up here are brushes. So I can go through the brushes I decided to bring. So these here are my powder brushes. This is what I'll use under my eye. This is the e.l.f. small tapered brush. And this is what I use on the rest of my face. This is the e.l.f. pointed powder brush. Here are the rest of my face brushes. So for blush, I have the Japanesque 961 brush that I found at TJ Maxx. For bronzer, I have the BH126 brush. And for highlight, I have the Luxie 522 brush. Now, I have a lot of, well, no, I don't think it's a lot of eyeshadow pencils. All right, so these are my blending brushes. I have the BH Pro 5 brush, the Luxie 229 brush, the Luxie 231 brush, the Morphe M562 brush, and the Farah number no. three mini tapered brush. And then <laughs> I have the Luxie 213 brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk brush that has no number. I have this Luxie 246 brush, the Luxie 221 brush, and the Luxie 131 brush. I really like Luxie brushes. So that is all up here. The only other thing is this zipper pouch and I have my cat ears in here because I actually use those to hold my hair back when I normally do my makeup and it's not just for my videos. And then everything is very securely in this container. Now, that's the full makeup portion. If you wanna see the skincare, hair care, and all that, that is happening now. Okay, so we'll start with this little bag here. This was one of the bags that comes with all those free samples from Ulta. I always get the best bags from there. This is my skincare bag. I will say the majority of this bag is washcloths because like I said, I didn't really want to ruin my friend's washcloths because I make a mess. So the most of this bag is, wash is washcloths. So we'll start with the more, the more foil packets I have here. So I have a mini, this is seven, a seven pack of the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I packed two of these. These are the Bliss That's Incredipeel pads. For eye cream, I felt like I would be fine with one or two foil packets, so I just did two to be safe. So I have the It Cosmetics Confidence in an Eye Cream and the Cetaphil, 
the Cetaphil Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. For body moisturizer, I went with this little, I think this was just a free sample from Sephora. This is the Sol de Janeiro Boom Boom Cream. It's like a one-time use packet. And in case I want to do more body lotion after that, I have the Nivea Body Lotion with Aloe Vera. I am packing my little Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush Spray because it's the mini and it's plastic and I don't have to worry about it breaking. I packed a mini of the Garnier Micellar Water along with two cotton pads. For skincare, I packed a little cleanser. This is the La Roche-Posay Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. I packed the mini Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I have the Bounce Me Congested Skin Serum. And then I have the Shiseido Moisturizing Cream. And if I want to tint it, I brought my number seven drops. That is my skincare bag. Ta-da. Now I have another little free sample bag I got from Ulta that's the most obnoxious pom-pom on it. This is my bathroom bag. So I will show you what I have in here. So I'm, okay, so I'm not even going to be there for two full days. We're getting there Friday around dinner time and leaving Sunday morning. So yes, I know it's extra. So I didn't know how many showers I'd be taking. So I assume I'll be taking one, but in case I'm taking two, I grabbed two sets. So I grabbed the Living Proof Frizz Shampoo and Conditioner Set. And then I thought I'll grab a shampoo and a hair mask. So we have the System Professional Volume Shampoo with the Garnier Freak Tees One Minute Hair Mask. So I have options. And then I did the same thing with body wash. So here we have the Vita Bath Cool Spearmint and Thyme Body Wash and the Sephora Collection Blueberry Cream Body Wash. So they're just little foil packets. Instead of bringing my actual razor, I'm bringing this. I see these all the time at TJ Maxx. These are the Venus Waterless Razors. They have like a gel in here that if you have to do quick touch-ups on the spot, you can just use this really quick because I don't really plan on shaving while I'm there because it's just a day. And then I have a toothbrush and a Colgate toothpaste. And that is my bathroom bag. Onto this bag. This is from the Ofra Mystery bag. This is my hair care bag. Again, since we're going to be going out, I don't really know what I'll be needing. <laughs> so if I'm having crazy, crazy hair and it's at the point where it can't be fixed, that's usually when I straighten it. So this is the perfect opportunity, first time I'm ever taking this anywhere. This is the mini straightener that came in December's Boxy Lux. So I have that. So. Since I'm bringing that for safety reasons, I'll bring a heat protectant. This is the Eva NYC 10 in 1 primer. I'm packing my Flex wet brush and I have some hair ties on the end. Have a clip because I usually use a clip when I straighten my hair. Bringing some bobby pins. Bringing a mini dry shampoo. This is the IGK First Class dry shampoo. And I'm bringing my Alterna CC cream leave-in conditioner and my mini Moroccan oil, because I actually have been enjoying this. I've been using it since we got it. And I'm about down there. You don't need a lot of this stuff. That is my hair bag. And now we have this bag. This is my sunscreen and a little bit of self-tanning bag. I don't know how else to describe it. Basically, I plan on self-tanning the night before we leave, but in case of emergencies or scary touch-ups, I'm bringing some options. So I'll go through the SPF I'm bringing first. And I am like packing SPF for me and Scott, so this is SPF for two technically. So I am going to bring the Neutrogena Ultra Sheer Body Mist. We are going to be at the beach, so this will be good. I'm going to bring the Bear Republic Sparkling Rosé Shimmer Sunscreen, because I'm gonna be with all my old college friends and I told them that I bought this and I was like, I'll bring it just for fun if you guys wanna try it out with me. So we're gonna use that maybe. <laughs> I brought a couple face sunscreens. So this is the Kula Sport. So this one is really big and it has SPF of 50. So I know Scott like sees this one. I'm going to bring this one for under my makeup. This is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. This one is good for under makeup because it's like pore filling and it doesn't have that white cast that you can get sometimes. I've never used this one, so this is kind of a maybe in here. This is the Drunk Elephant Umbra Tint. So it's a tinted sunscreen. I don't know if I would use this since I'm just bringing it for safety. I don't know, I'm crazy, I know. Then the last thing I'm going to bring 
is the Kula Organic Makeup Spray. This has SPF 30, so this is really good for touching up if you do have makeup on. Now for self-tanning. I'm bringing my other Ulta Beauty mitt because the first one like got destroyed after one use. So nothing I would be doing here is like actual like full body. It would be little touch-ups. So I figured this would be safe and not dirty. <laughs> so I don't, I don't really know. So I decided to bring this one because I know it's one that I like. It's easy to use. It's a St. Tropez Gradual Tinted and it's a mini. I found it at TJ Maxx and I thought, you know, if anything really does need to be touched up, I'll just use this. I don't know if I'm gonna use this. This is almost empty. This is the Vita Liberata Body Blur. This is more like, I don't wanna call it body makeup, but it's not a self tanner, but it makes you look self tanned. It doesn't really transfer, so I guess it is body makeup, but there's not a lot left in it. I've used it on my legs in the past. So this is a, maybe a touch up thing. I'm bringing this. This came in a Allure Beauty Box. This is the Vita Liberata Tan Infused Cloth. I've never used it, but I figured on the go is probably when I would use this, so I'll take it. I have the same thing here. This is the tan towel. They're like little tanning towels. I don't know. I'm not great at packing. You guys should see the, the amount of clothes I have packed. So yeah, I have the rest of my list here to pack. I tend to be a lot worse at consolidate packing when I know I'm just driving in a car and not getting on an airplane. You guys like that? Or is that just me? But yeah. That is my makeup and toiletries. That is it for this video. Let me know in the comments on a scale of one to 10 how out of control you think I am. I can accept the truth. I'm a 10. And yeah, that is it for this video. As usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.